Hi, I'm Nick Chambers with PluginCars.com and HybridCars.com here at the 2010 Los Angeles Auto Show, standing in front of the U.S. spec Mitsubishi iMeve. I'm here with Mitsubishi's North American representative, Dave Patterson. He's a he's the emissions specialist for North America. Is that correct? Um, and uh, you know, you guys have have taken great pains to make this uh, a bigger car for the U.S. Can you fill us in a little bit on what drove that decision? Sure. What drove that decision is when we originally designed the uh, i car. We designed it for a Japanese domestic market only. To comply with the U.S. crash regulations, we, were, we had to change the size of the vehicle to add some of the, the crash worthiness that the American consumer desires. Are you worried at all that treating the U.S. sort of more specially in this way will alienate the rest of the world, make them, more, make them a little bit jealous of this, perhaps? Oh, I, I hope not, because this is, this is something that we do in the global automotive market all the time, is each different uh, national, uh, national standard structure has their own requirements for their vehicles. We have to build them differently. The European market gets a different, different vehicle than the Japanese market, and of course the American market gets their own vehicle too. So you are planning uh, regional variants of this vehicle for all around the world? Well, we're already there, you know, because remember, we launched this car in Japan in 2009. We're launching this vehicle right now in Europe on the European version, and then we're going to be launching this vehicle in the North American market next, next November. Okay. You know, I've, I've sat in it now. Uh, I've had a chance to drive the Japanese spec. Apparently, this is the only one of these in the world, so I can't drive it, unfortunately. But it seems like the seats are maybe a little bit bigger, girthier, as you might say, has more cup holders. But beyond that, the sort of uh, visual modifications, are there any other sort of under the hood things that might be different? Bigger motor, bigger batteries? Um, actually, we recalibrated a little bit for the U.S. market because we were we had this two years since you and I first talked to to uh, do some testing here in the United States and find out the differences between the the Japanese spec and the American spec, and we were able to make it a little bit more U.S. friendly. So that when you're out on that freeway, you're going to feel very comfortable driving this vehicle. How do you feel about the prospects for the U.S. market? Awesome! I I cannot wait. Yeah, I wish we were doing this right now that we were out there. Uh, it, but for us, it's going to, you know, being a little bit after the first wave to market, I think it's going to be a good thing because the infrastructure is going to be in place. We're going to get through some of the, the teething pains that some of the other manufacturers are going to run into, and we're going to be able to just walk in and start to, to successfully sell cars. Okay, well, thanks very much, Dave. Uh, from the 2010 Los Angeles Auto Show, I'm Nick Chambers.